r slash ask reddit what are red flags in a friendship most people brush away continually feeling like you want to say something but should hold your tongue i'd like to add to this but i think i'll hold off being dismissive of all your interests and achievements meanwhile everything they do no matter how mundane is amazing and then you bring this issue up and they give bs reasons like it's hard for me to care about something i don't know about or even further you're being sensitive erratic emotional and you just sit there thinking i'm sure glad i still attentively listened to all those times you bored me with your financial spreadsheets you made to decide what car you would buy you see you got a private message from them and your gut reaction is to start getting nervous or anxious but what is it this time this was happening with me for months before the friendship imploded. It was always something, and none of it good. Always asking for favors but never there when you need them to return one. Yeah friendship is a two way street and ones that only go one way are not healthy. It's the fact that they act like you are the best of friends when they are around you because they want something, then immediately blow you off once you've helped. Had a few so called friends like this, they weren't around for long. They only talk to you when all of their other friends are gone. Oof this hit close to home. Friends who are always happy to talk about themselves but never once ask you how you're doing or anything engaging you to talk about yourself. Have a friend exactly like this. It's very annoying lately. You should let them know. Maybe they don't realize they're doing it and will change their behavior to be a better friend. I was that friend once and I wish I had known before it was too late to fix it. Colon. Inability or unwillingness to apologize when he or she does something wrong. It's symptomatic of an ego issue that will eventually infect every aspect of your friendship. One up of friends. I just had this two hours ago. I was shopping and a cute girl just said hi while walking by. Just a hi made my day and so I was telling my friend about it. He said nice and then told me how yesterday a sexy co-worker just comes to him and kisses him. Reason. She just wanted to. This was kind of the moment I realized he is full of cow excrements. Friends that don't let you have any other friends and require 100% of your time when they can't give you the same. This also applies to significant others. My best friend in high school once specifically requested for me to post a picture of us for national best friend day, or some similar holiday. I asked if she'd be posting a picture of us too. No, I have a lot of best friends. But I'm your main best friend so you should post a picture of us, was her response. The next couple years were full of backstabbing and gaslighting, complete with occasional fallings out until we finally stopped speaking. Looking back, I can't believe I didn't see it coming. Good riddance to her. That's awful that she said that to you and I hope you've better, more considerate people in your life to appreciate you. Friends who gossip excessively, if they're talking about other people, Chances are they are talking about you. My roommates like to gossip by saying extremely nice things behind friends backs. When they push other people out of the friend group. It happened in my group where there were 5 of us. She joined and basically bullied 3 out of the group. But it wasn't obvious bullying. A lot of things change. Next thing I know I'm being treated like shit to the point I hate myself. Me and my friend managed to leave and make friends with the original 5 again. The one that kicked everyone out is very social and no one rl while likes her bc she's not nice but she's now found herself with no friends. They call you only when they need you. And then you feel guilty when you get mad because they've had a rough upbringing or something. And you feel like a bad friend and like maybe you're overreacting. Because you know, they've been through a lot. But still you want to vent to them about your problems because they might be able to sympathize but then you think that their problems have been worse than yours so you really can't complain because in comparison you don't have shit to complain about. And they don't call you or text you for a few months. But suddenly they get into an argument with somebody and they're always in the right and they need somebody to reassure them that they deserve better. Sounds about right. They don't ask about you. They just turn every conversation about themselves. When you talk about exams they don't ask you how you did they just talk about themselves. When you talk about not sleeping well they talk about how they didn't sleep. When you tell them you broke up with your so they talk about their so etc. Some people think that that is how you show empathy, by showing you have similar problems. 
it becomes a real problem when they combine it with being a topper. I slept awful last night. Woke up at 3 and just gave up. Ugh. Me too. I never did fall asleep and I just laid on the couch all night. Reading these comments are helping to calm my anxieties about whether or not I'm a good friend. So thanks for that y'all. Another sign of a bad friend is no self reflection. Sounds like you don't fall into that category either. Reading through this is making my heart sink with realization. Are you the friend or the friend? Friends that aren't happy for your success and happiness, but are very close when you're sad, are the emotional vampires. That's how they feed. Friends who constantly call you for advice but never take it and continue to involve you in their drama. If you're not going to make moves to improve your situation stop asking me for help. Passive aggressive insults to other friends. They never say anything supportive of you, but they will point off your flaws and can't wait to burn you because it's funny to them and then the follow up of you're too sensitive it's just joking. I had a friend like that. When I started distancing myself from her and that group of friends, I became the beach that never wanted to hang out even though I had no life. Good ducking riddance. Really jealous and possessive friends. I'm a jealous person by nature, and even though my jealousy flares up when I see my friends hanging out with other people, I would never let them know. Why? Because I don't want them to feel bad about doing the things they love, egg. Having a social life outside my little world, if a person tries to box you up because they want you all to themselves, it's not a proof of love or companionship. True love, in any kind of relationship like friends, family, lovers, is shown by respect and allowing the other person to have free will. I'm currently struggling with this. I thought my best friend and I were really tight, yet I found out she was pregnant on Facebook, found out she was engaged on Facebook. Weird, but okay. I guess she likes spilling the beans on social media. Lately, this new girl, who I didn't get a good first impression of is now hanging out with our immediate circle and she asked me, did you know she had a pregnancy scare? Great. My best friend hasn't texted me for weeks and now I find out you two are really tight. That stings. And now I feel like shit. I don't mind her hanging out with new people, but the fact that I've been ignored hurts and just causes jealousy. I don't know. I feel like crap lately. LOL. If you think about them when you read this post. When you can't trust a damn word they say, or any promise they make to you, you know you don't have a good friend. I have friends like this, but it prevents them from being good friends having to censor yourself. I have friends with different religious political beliefs that I think are absolutely insane. I don't endorse what they say but I just keep my mouth shut, because I know they wouldn't be okay with it and the purpose of these friendships usually revolve around sports music. Friends that only care to talk about their own success and aren't genuinely happy for you and yours unless it amounts to less than their own. When they cancel plans. They always do it last minute. Or just not show up. I had a friend who would ignore my messages asking where they were and they would always message 3 days later that they were in the hospital or something. Every time. Not just once or twice. And like. It was a couple. One of you can answer me even if that were true. Controlling. Manipulative friends that try to change you rather than accepting you as you are. Friends that are a one way street. I was always the one to message call or make plans with them i was always the one to check up on them to see if they were okay i always offered a helping hand and be there for them i decided to stop to see if they would reach out to me but we never spoke to me again oh well when they pressure you to do things for them or a certain way and act like you were on board the whole time occasion they say they are holding you accountable to something you never wanted in the first place gaslighting they take the high road when you get angry because they won't respect your boundaries. Play the victim. When they refuse to validate you slash compliment you. When you tell them your accomplishment or something you're proud of they reply with what they did to devalue your thing. Friends that makes jokes at the expense of you. They choose where and when to meet for plans without your input. Then act entitled if you are busy or simply can't meet their demands. A friend of mine has been making fun of me for years. Just made fun of me whenever I did said anything. Even if I was serious. 
didn't realize how much it's affected my self esteem until I actually got really angry at her for something else and no longer considered her a friend. Also, she's mentally unstable, now that's okay, and as her friends we want to help her with that, but she's not giving us a chance to do so, she just flips her shit and expects everyone to adapt to her, the real problem is that she hasn't changed, the same shit's been happening for years and she's apparently not trying to work on herself in that regard, still expecting us to just accept whatever bs she throws at us, so duck her. Someone who is all nice, great, attentive, supportive, etc. When you are alone but acts differently when other people are around. Don't make excuses for your friend. This is 100% uncool. At the very least, it shows some bad insecurities on their part. At worst it's a sign they are genuinely using you. Personally I've always had bad experiences with people who say everyone is their best friend. When my best friend in high school started calling 10 different people including me her best friend. That was when I knew I was just an accessory, and she was trying to surround herself with people to love her. Someone who listens to gossip about you and doesn't shut it down. Whoa, you made it to the end? You're a ducking beast. I'll cut you a deal. Smash like and subscribe for more curated content bruh. It's free and that's a great price. Bru